most people have no idea it's happening. Slash Jamie Fox. Okay, what which one is this video? The name is here on the screen, guys. The name is here on the screen. The link to the channel is in the description. Y'all can click on it. Go to the channel. Another video about Jamie Fox, people. Uh, I'm just checking them out. I'm just checking them out. I'm just reacting to them. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go to these people, subscribe to the channels. Yeah, Rami, now let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here's the thing with success. Every time there's success, you have to be prepared for the darkness. Facts. Dude, I'm just... First sentence in this video, straight facts. Especially, especially when it comes to Hollywood, bro. When it comes to Hollywood, bro, it is dark. It is a movie, always. It is a movie. So nothing is... Dude, just, let's just watch it. So anytime something happens good to you, you have to sort sort of now look out for what's gonna anchor that because you can't have sunshine without darkness. That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. I give him that. That's pretty accurate. When you look at the sign of yin and yang, that's everything in life. Because yin and yang shows you light and dark. Here's the thing with success. A lot of times when people get to success and don't know that the darkness is coming, that's when you see them trip and fall. Yeah. The Oscars. When, 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 when people win an Oscar, the ultimate darkness is they may not work again. But you've gone to the mountaintop. You can look at it. It's almost like a, a algorithm. It's like when they win that big trophy, something happens. If they don't shake it off quick, they can't get back into the game. And so that's yeah. my that's the one thing I always. That's accurate. That's Jamie Foxx talking. Constantly prepare myself for if something great happens, just be prepared for whatever the bullshit is going to come along. I tell people all the time, appreciate the failures. If you look at anybody who skyrockets in our business, that thing is tough. Like I talked to a really famous friend of mine, calls me one day, just couldn't get his mind around things. And me, I'm like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, we were sitting on a, we, we, we ended up sitting on this boat and he's looking out in the ocean and he goes, uh, I don't know what to do. I said, what the fuck else do you want to do? I just don't know where to go with my career. I said, let me explain something to you. We're on a $23 million boat. We're sitting in front of a $50 million house. What are you talking about? But I couldn't put myself in his head because he had lived on top of the world for so long. And then a couple of things happened and he felt like he wasn't. And I was like, you know why he felt like he wasn't? I'll tell you why. God, he doesn't have Jesus Christ. Because if you get that amount of money and you, you have Jesus Christ into you, bro, you have the Holy Ghost dwelling in you, bro, it is a, it is a pinnacle. How can I say this? It is, it is the top, top. You know what I mean? It is the top one. Dude, money can make you happy, but it wouldn't last. The only, the only person that can make you happy is God. That's why it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. You know what I mean? So if you go after the the, the kingdom of God and his righteousness first. You, you you go after doing the things that he wants us to do. You get that. You're doing that already. Right? I mean, and then the money is added on to you. It is the best thing ever. But if you go after the money first, then you get all this money. You will still feel like something is missing. You know what I mean? You will still feel like that's why you see people. Some people say money makes you happy money does not make you happy money does no money makes you happy yes but how long would you be happy with that money how long are you going to be happy holding that money with that money you can only do this much with the money you can only only do this much what you going to do buy big houses buy big cars do this do that but uh, okay and then what after that what is there you got what i mean so but if you, if you go after the kingdom of God first, his righteousness, 
other things added on to you, you will know, you know, you see, you have much better things to do with the money. You know, like what, like, like what, for example, like giving out the money, helping the people on the streets instead of spending uh, 50, like what is that? 25 meals or 23 meals on, on a boat or whatever, how much that man spent on a boat. You'll be thinking how you can, be, you can be building orphanages. You can, you can be spending that money helping the homeless. You can be serving God with that money. You go know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what this is. That's why you, when you reach, you reach the top, it's just, it, these are things, these are vanities. You know what I mean? These are vanities that Satan get people confused with. People go after the money. It's all about the money. Yeah, you want the money. You want the money. You want this money. We're going to get this money. Blah, blah, blah. It's all the same thing again and again. But what is there? Nothing is there. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, I mean, let's get it. I can tell you this. It's lonely at the top. It's you hear that? It is lonely at the top. But again, like I, I just said, if God is doing this with you, you wouldn't be lonely, bro. You would not be lonely. I'm telling you this for sure. If you're doing this with God, you there's no way you'll be lonely. You know why? Because God is always there with you. God fills you up. You know what I mean? God fills you up. You got a purpose. You got a purpose. This man got all this. He still feels like he doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't hide. He, he, something is missing because God is not there. You need God. We need God first before the money. So what you mean? I see, you know why it's lonely? You didn't take anybody with you when you went there. And so one day, in comes this kid, backpack on, jaws busted. Who is it? Who? It's Kanye. And then he goes, uh, I, I, I got a song. <coughs> dad, dad, you, you will be good on, uh, uh. I, I, I got this song. I, I know you could kill her. Kill her. I was like, me? Song? Goofy face? I said, oh, shit, cool. So we go in the back. One of the I got the studio in the back. So he sings. He says, the song's going to go. She says she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross. So I said, I got it. She says she wants some Marvin Gaye. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, well, I got to put you know, the R&B on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real singer. You know, I've been singing. He said, uh, don't do that. I uh, oh, don't no. just, just sing the song because it's hip hop. And I said, okay, cool. So I begrudgingly sung the song. I'm thinking, the song's whack. He's not going to make it. So I went off. I did a bad movie. I come back about six weeks, eight weeks later. That song is number one. My boy goes like, you remember that song you said wasn't shit? It's number one in the country. And then that's how I got into the music. So long story longer, it's like, yeah, you can do all of the things, and there's a lot of actors and actresses that can. You just need those opportunities. Just like in life, when your when your opportunity comes, if you prepare for it, now you can jump into it and, and grab it. I wake up and do like this mental check system. I'm in this situation. I'm in a in a situation where I'm able to create, and that's my job. And then I look at what I could have been doing. And so I turn my light on. I say, I'm going to turn my light on no matter where, no matter if I'm tired or if I'm wrecked, whatever it is, I turn my light on and that saves you. Because a lot of people turn their lights off, if you, especially if you look at comedians. Comedians, when they reach a certain, certain plateau and they've done so great, they, they start trying to look sexy and, you know, they trying get to their mind look good. Mind. Yeah, they start working out too much. You know, it's weird. And then they turn their light off and they're afraid to to be goofy again. When I wake up, I said, I'm not going to be afraid to be goofy. I'm not going to be afraid to be, uh, I'm not gonna be afraid to challenge myself. And it's just a mental thing that you do when you wake up. No matter where you start, you got the opportunity to change. You got the opportunity to change. You got the opportunity to change. What do you guys think? That's a cool video, by the way. That's a cool video. The link is in the description. Y'all can click on it. Go straight to the channel. Y'all ramin. Y'all ramin. Y'all ramin. Comment below what do you think about this video. Make sure to like, 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 subscribe, subscribe. Be back again with some other videos. Y'all ramin. Catch you next time. Yeah. I got love for my Lord, Yahweh. Where my Jesus Christ? I want a piece of you. Where is Jesus Christ? Where is Jesus Christ? I want a piece of you. I want a piece of you. I want a piece of you. I want a piece of you.